When it comes to studying formidable predators, like bears, there are at least two good reasons to use remote cameras. One, you can discover where the animals travel, how they live, what they eat. And two, you avoid finding yourself on the menu. National Geographic's Critter Cam has revealed extraordinary behaviors of the brown bear, the grizzlies, close kin in the Alaska Panhandle. The video provides researchers with some of the most intimate pictures ever captured of bear life in the depths of the forest, a rare look into the private life of a brown bear. But things might not remain quite so cozy for the brown bear for long. Humans are encroaching on their territory. Hunters come to Alaska to bag brown bears for trophies. While loggers are cutting down their habitat. The number of grizzly bears in the western United States has already plummeted from more than 100,000 to only 1,000 today. No one wants to see a repeat of that scenario with brown bears in Alaska. So researchers here are trying to discover more about the bears' movements. They want to know how their range is being affected by clear-cut forests and new roads. For that, they rely on GPS. These devices make use of dozens of orbiting satellites to calculate the precise location of a tagged animal. Sometimes they're only off by a few feet. Not just as with Critter Cam. First, you have to get a collar on a bear in order to track it. That's where expert tracker Laverne Beyer and biologist Jack Whitman come in. We're trespassing in a pretty major way in, in places where brown bears live, where most people shouldn't go. It would be foolish, regardless of you know, how one feels about bears, not to carry a weapon. As they enter the bear's rainforest habitat, they stay downwind and silent as possible. They pick out motion, uh, so you move slow you know, and, and deliberate. And if preferably you uh, move when, when they're not looking at you. Trying to determine whether the bear knows if we're here or not by the wind. The wind's kind of going right towards it. Laverne and Jack can hear noises, indicating that a bear is caught in one of their snares. But it's not clear how firmly the trap has grabbed the animal's foot. At this point, it's kind of, how is this all going to play out? You know, we're a lot, we're just other things that are going to happen here to determine whether it's a good capture, a bad capture, an ugly capture. As the bear shifts its position, the trackers can see the situation is tenuous. A sudden jerk, and this angry bear could be on them in the blink of an eye. Fortunately, the tranquilizer is already taking effect. If not, the bear might easily pull free. Minutes later, she's down. The researchers waste no time. First a blood sample. Then it's time to fit the collar. Now this bear, like others, can provide a stream of important information as to its movements. Researchers are particularly concerned about the situation on Alaska's Chichikov Island, where many brown bears converge during the summer. These are life-sustaining corridors where bears have traditionally roamed. But over the last 20 years, roads have cut deep into this once virgin wilderness. And timber clear cutting has turned some of the bear's summer stomping grounds into stump fields. As development extends further and further into the brown bear's ancient domain, humans and bears are increasingly coming face to face. And that's a potential disaster. So researchers need to know how much can the bear's land shrink before it will no longer be able to sustain them? 
through technologies like critter cam and GPS tracking, they will be keeping a close eye on the bear's movements. From land and from space, these massive bears are on conservationist radar. They want to make sure this awesome species doesn't bear the brunt of man's incursions into their land. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium.